Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Sada's Green Life. I really hope you all are safe, healthy and happy. As the title suggests, I'm going to be talking about my seven holy grail products. They are not necessarily from skincare or makeup. It's a mix of everything related to beauty and uh, this thing, uh, self-care. So the reason I'm doing this video, first of all, it is not a sponsored video. None of these brands have paid me money. I've loved these products, which is why I'm talking about them because they were literally finds that uh, I never knew existed and I was blown away by the performance of all of them. So yeah, without any further delay, let's get started. So the first product that I'm going to be talking about is uh, something that uh, I was really uh, curious to try. One reason because I've stopped using perfumes for a really long time to control perspiration and uh, body odor. I thought of trying this um, deodorizing pit cream by Plum and I was pleasantly surprised. One reason being uh, it doesn't feel chemically at all. It's something that uh, kind of stays on my underarms for a really long time, controls body odor for uh, quite a few hours so after which I kind of tend to clean my underarms and reapply it so I really like it I was quite surprised with the uh, effectiveness of this one product this plum one is seriously something that I'm sold on and I'll be definitely buying this in future so yeah that's the one the second one again is by plum Plum doesn't know that I'm doing this video. I think Plum is one of the first few brands that were entirely cruelty free and vegan. Very few such brands to take that initiative which is why I have been trying their products on and off. Now this um, green tea revitalizing facial mist is something I had tried in the past. I did not like it for some reason. So I kind of gave it up like I hardly finished this much and I kind of threw it away because I didn't know the way to use it but now uh, I bought it this time for fixing my makeup and not just fixing my makeup I kind of because I do two get ups in a day for this particular show BB Jodi after I take off my makeup from the first dress or the first outfit I kind of need something to freshen up the skin like I uh, do not necessarily get a chance to wash my face uh, every single time because there's hardly any time right so in that case what I do is I remove my makeup with uh, either a cleansing balm or sometimes if I don't even have that much time I use a, a cleansing wipe in those cases this really works out so well it kind of moisturizes it kind of adds that you know all that nourishment that I have taken off from the moisturizer serums and everything that I've applied in the morning it just kind of puts back the balance to the skin so I was pleasantly surprised that this time it it's working out beautifully also when I feel like I've applied too much powder on my face and it starts looking cakey that's when I give it a good spray on my face and it just takes off that extra dry layer of uh, powder or compact so yeah I love this one now okay there are two totally new brands one of them is dot and I think this is the only product this and this I probably are the only products that were sent to me in a PR uh, package during one of their uh, new launches but again they had sent me a lot of products out of which I kind of liked this one really well now I have been a sucker for facial oils one of my all time favorites is the tribe concepts kumkumadi tailam I love the fragrance of it it feels so lightweight yet nourishing that I did not find anything which was at par with that I tried plums oil also after a few successful products that uh, after a few good products that I tried from the brand but the facial oil of plum was something that would be on my skin like a like I don't know it felt like too plasticky I don't know how to explain it like it did not hydrate my skin it just stayed there making it look oily and weird whereas this one by Dot & Key the superfood nourishing skin nourishing face oil which has got avocado and flaxseed oil this is again something that I have been wearing under my makeup ever since I've been shooting for BB Jodi because it just works so well it doesn't make my uh, skin feel oily it nourishes it it gives it that healthy glow which we require obviously when we put thick layers of uh, makeup and everything we need that little glow from within this does that job really well i have some other favorites also from this brand but i'll keep that for some other time this has turned out to be definitely a holy grail after this bottle is over i'm going to definitely repurchase <laughs> Thank you. 
when this came to me it's by a brand called pilgrim again an entirely cruelty free and vegan brand i remember i was in uh, in one of my jungle trips the winters had just set in and because i'm born and brought up in uh, a weather like mumbai's which is hot humid you know my skin if it gets dry it gets really dry and parched and you know it doesn't feel good so that's when i had this problem of chapped lips and uh, i don't know i was applying my regular lip balm it was just not healing it it was only making it worse so uh, when i got back to mumbai i said let me give this a try because it looks a little uh, you know like slightly thicker consistency it's not like any other lip balm that i have ever tried it's so thick it's so dense i applied a nice layer of it on my lips and the next day i was blown away <laughs> because my lips were not just you know smooth like baby lips i've never had those kind of soft and smooth lips but they also looked plump and healthy and i was like wow this actually works the only thing that i don't like about it because i use it during the night it has got a bubblegum fragrance so <laughs> bubblegum is something you would want to use during the day right to feel fresh and everything not during the night <laughs> so that was my only thing with this the fragrance but the product in itself is too good too good once i'm done with this uh, jar i'm going to definitely repurchase the problem with uh, lip balms for us vegans is that it's really difficult for us to find something that is vegan because most of the brands in the market have lip balms that has beeswax pilgrims really really sold me on this one i'm so happy with this Okay now again this came to me just 3 days before I was coming here and I have tried it not more than twice but I can tell you this is going to remain in my vanity for the rest of my life this is uh, nothing but deconstructs uh, soothing cleansing balm if i'm not mistaken it's a new launch it's not something that i had seen on their website earlier i was on their website to check some serums because i've heard a lot about this brand again it's a vegan and cruelty free brand so i don't have to you know <laughs> work on my uh, you know skills of looking into ingredients and everything i can just blindly buy uh, anything from the website like i said in itself it's a no nonsense product deconstruct products i've heard are really very good this is my first buy from the website i have not tried any of their other products so i cannot say but i have tried cleansing balm from plum uh, initially and like i said it was but pathetic to say the least i tried it because i had heard some rave reviews about that one product it comes in a big jar first of all i feel really yucky to keep dipping my fingers into that uh, cleansing balm you know every time i want i want to use it and secondly it's like cleansing balm is supposed to be like you apply you take a little bit of water and you emulsify that uh, cream and it becomes milky and it just you know with water it kinds of washes out all your makeup in a jiffy that's how the cleansing balm is supposed to be however <laughs> plums balm gave me pain when it came to getting rid of that balmy texture it first of all didn't emulsify well and it just sat on my skin that even if i washed it with face wash like a couple of times it still made me feel like there is something on my skin so i kind of because i was not finding any better product as a replacement i was using it but when i found this i tried it once and i was like be it waterproof mascara waterproof liner lipsticks which are matte any kind of base makeup which is thick like the way i'm wearing right now it gets rid of it like like nobody's business and all i need to do is take this much amount like i don't know if i can show you that is all that i need to take spread it all across my face it becomes like an oily you know layer doesn't sit like a, a greasy mass of some balm the moment it uh, comes in contact with the body heat it kind of melts the moment i spray it with water it becomes like this milky texture put this very little water kada if you know what i mean it becomes milky and it just kind of now i cannot show it on my face simply because i have makeup on and i'm going to be going to do my next episode <laughs> otherwise i would have shown you practically but yeah it just gets rid of everything effortlessly i don't even need to use a face wash after cleansing it with water which is such a big win because sometimes you don't have that facility but because i'm so used to using a face wash on top i do follow it up 
with like a double uh, cleansing method but yeah this thing has my heart like literally has my heart it's not even pricey it comes like hardly below i think 500 if i'm not mistaken for a tube as big as this and you re really need this much i love it <laughs> love it now the last two things they come from vanity they don't come from the skincare uh, range one of them is by faces it's a nail color lot of people in my earlier videos were asking in that particular video what is the nail color that you were using i've been changing to a lot of different shades which are mostly nudes and peaches and light pinks because i think that's what looks good on me and that's what i like to see myself in rather than brighter colors or any weird shades i'm not too much into greens and grays on my nails i came across this shade from faces canada it's shade number floral dream 56 shade number i think this is the perfect nude that has ever been made for indian skin tone skin tones across all ranges fair medium dark can wear this and look it it just looks so natural doesn't look like you're wearing anything like i have given like 3 4 layers right now for it to stay but if i just put two layers it just matches so beautifully with the colors of my fingers that it looks natural my nails look healthy and even if it chips off it it doesn't make it look like you know something very shabby which is why this color by faces is by far my most favorite this is my second bottle already in a span of over 2 months love it it doesn't dry out it stays on your raw nails for really long time doesn't chip that easily perfect Now last but not the least is this kajal pencil again by Faces again it's a cruelty free and vegan brand what i love about this uh, pencil it's easy to smudge like i don't remember i have used any kajal pencil in like and even before this is over i buy two more and i keep them in the store what if one loses and all i just love this thing so much easy to apply it doesn't dry out on the lids and give that chappy unfinished effect i can smudge it under like if i have to tight line it over my uh, lash line under my lash line wherever i can e easily smudge it and it stays it stays for really long so this i think by far is my most favorite kajal pencil of all times and trust me i have tried quite a few brands again a disclaimer before i end this video none of these brands know that i'm making this video none of these brands uh, even know that uh, i'd be talking about any of their products none of them have paid me <laughs> it is a completely unsponsored video and i so wanted to do this because these products are real gems and some things that i would probably be using for the rest of my life unless i find a better alternative but i i don't think there can be anything better than this and maybe this and maybe this these two five by far are so good that it's going to be really difficult uh, you know to find a replacement for these three products but yeah that is it i <laughs> really hope that you all enjoyed watching this video i wanted to do this quick one so that um, you all know my top favorites there was a skincare regimen that i had done earlier on my channel it spoke about few products that i used uh, with time with like lot of brands sending me different products i started getting into trying all the new ones that are in the market and i ended up with some real good finds which is why i thought i'll do this video for you guys I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I like doing it. If you like this format, do let me know in the comments and I can keep coming up with uh, certain or uh, random products not just necessarily makeup or a uh, skincare. Random favorite products that I have which I feel like I wouldn't be able to live without. <laughs> so if you think uh, I should be doing more of such videos, do let me know in the comments and do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. That is it for today. I shall see you very very soon in my next one. Until then stay safe, feel good and be blessed. Oh, 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 oh,